guys today I'm here with Lou and I'm just gonna make a short video on how I got my cattle dog I've always loved dogs growing up I had this big book full of all different dog breeds and I'd flip through it and wonder what kind of dog I would have when I you know grew up and I never knew that I would have a cattle dog look at him <laughs> Um, yeah, so I grew up with a Siberian Husky. I really liked the smart, um, beautiful type of dog. I never really was drawn to the basic type of dog, like a Lab or a Golden Retriever. I always thought dogs that looked different were really cool, and, um, I like smart dogs. Um, dogs that are trained easily and dogs that want to train. So that's how I became drawn to an Australian cattle dog. Well, fast forward to about a year and a half living with Nick and I decided that I wanted to get a dog. So it was kind of my idea and Nick um, agreed that he would like a dog too, but he wanted a say in what kind of dog that we got. And actually, he used to watch this show called Street Outlaws and one of the characters on that show, one of the guys, have a cattle dog and we didn't know anything about cattle dogs. So we started looking Looking into the breed and what kind of dog we would be getting and we realized that they were a very smart dog a dog that needed a lot of exercise so we did think about that and we did consider that before we got Louie um, we live on a fruit farm I think I've told you guys this before but yeah we live on a fruit farm so there's a lot of um, area that Louie can roam on so we're thinking you know that would be a good thing it's just us getting up getting out and exercising him and I'm a very active person myself so I knew that that wasn't gonna be a problem for me and it still hasn't been um, I love exercising with Louie and I love being outdoors he's made me a more outdoorsy person which I love at this point we were completely obsessed with cattle dog we were looking everything up we were um, watching video after video on YouTube um, anywhere we could find info on cattle dogs we were just going crazy we we're so excited and the, the only problem was there was no cattle dogs for sale around um, us so we we're like how are we gonna get a cattle dog one thing that I found really helpful was to join Facebook groups so cattle dog Facebook groups and cattle dog puppies for sale groups and that's how I found Lou finally after honestly it was only probably a three week to a month search for a cattle dog and I found an ad for um, cattle dog puppies in Delaware so it was about five hours south from here and from my house and um, yeah I really wanted cattle dog and that was the closest cattle dog um, puppies for sale so I took the trip me and my mom took the trip down to Delaware to get Lou and we get there and we come in we uh, knock on the door there's a cattle dog in a crate outside like in an enclosure outside and it's just going ballistic it's barking and jumping on the cage and I didn't even like put two and two together um, but that was Louis's dad and Louis looks exactly like his dad with the no mask I walked in and they're all in a little um, you know fence thing that they have in the house the little enclosed fence and my mom started picking puppies up and the lady started handing puppies to me and a lot of them had um, the mask on both sides my mom was in love with the runt of the litter which I did not want just because um, they say not to get the runt of the litter because it could be sick um, it could get sick down um, the line and I just didn't want any chances of me losing my best friend right after getting a dog so I decided to pick a healthy puppy and the ones that my mom were holding were like really big they were like probably the firstborns and they were really cute and I was holding them and I just didn't feel the connection yet but then my mom picked up Lou who I've never seen before, no mask, and just completely, he had speckled white all over his body. He was so white when he was a baby. Um, it was crazy, but she picked him up and she gave him to me and this little guy just melted into my chest, was snuggling me, fell right asleep. Like he literally, I 
it was crazy. It was definitely connection. And since he was in my hand, I did not want to put him down. I put him down once to pick up another puppy. And then I was like, no, I want to pick up that one again. I, I, I want to see that one. And as the lady was talking about the breed, I was asking um, about the mom. She had the mom in another room, separated, because I guess some of the puppies had scabs on their head, and those ones were with the mom, and she was getting them treated or something. So there was only a couple puppies out, or there's like six puppies out or something. Um, and she was talking all about the dogs, and I was asking, you know, uh, do, how do you exercise them and all that, because I was a new owner, so I wanted to know as much as she, you know, as much knowledge as she could give me. But all the while that was happening, I was holding Lou, and at the end of the conversation, she goes, I think you found your puppy. And I was like, oh my goodness, yes I did. Because I could not put Lou down, I knew I wanted Lou. So she gave me um, some food that they had been eating, I don't remember the brand, um, and his first vet papers, and we were on our way. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little story about how I got Lou. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe for more. And feel free to leave your story about how you got your cattle dog in the comments below. I just want to thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!